Hey everybody, welcome back to Where Beers Cheers. Today, I got two beers from the UK, and they're only a dollar. Hey, we're back. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day to be a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I don't know if those are the actual words. Mike Ballard keeps telling me I'm singing it wrong. I could be, I don't know. But I have a prescription ready at Walmart apparently. Um, <laughs> today, Sam picked up two beers that I would never have thought to ever get. Um, St. Peter's Plum Porter and St. Peter's Golden Ale. Apparently these were a dollar. They were a dollar at Beer World. Let's try them, see how the hell they go. Can't go wrong for a dollar. I mean, we try other beers that are a lot more than a dollar, and today we got a dollar. Why not try something that, who knows, might be a diamond in the rough? Yeah, we never know. Got Sam's keys, because he's got a bottle opener here, if that tells you about Sam's activities. Um, what, I wish. <laughs> what do you want me to start with? I would say try the plum, because that's the try one the worry plum. about the most. Oh, I don't know, man. Something about a plum, I don't know, but for a dollar, who knows? And yes, I'm drinking out of the Miller Lite glass. I tend to get all my glasses from bars. Um, some of them I pay for. Uh, let's. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Let's see here. Ooh, that's dark. I didn't. It's a porter. Smells good. Yeah, that smells really good. Um, a little nutty. And I actually, you know what the crazy thing is, is I actually do I smell, smell plum. Yeah, I smell it. You, you do smell plum off of that. I don't know if that's uh, in there or not. I'll do, I'll do a dynamic zoom yeah. on that. But um, yeah, that, uh, it smells like plum. Sam, take a, here. Take a swig? Take a swig. So the crazy thing about this is you smell the plum, you taste the plum when you first take a sip off of it. Then after that, it gets, it gets bitter. It gets really bitter, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Very bitter and not it's hoppy. Right, jammy plum flavors. Yeah, I, I don't know how to describe this. It's Guys. It's like coffee. I, a little bit, but you're getting, there's so many flavors going on right now with this. I, I don't. For me, it's a little too bitter. I mean, I just did that weird taste, like that weird look on my face, like I'm drinking rubber dust. Yeah. I, I tweak out, it's like a little. It's not, it's almost like you're drinking an IPA, but it's not an IPA because it's a porter, but I, I to me, it definitely tastes um, coffee-ish. Like, not like coffee per se, but like a, like the feeling of coffee, like the bitter aftertaste of coffee if you drink it black. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, 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 the aftertaste. Okay, so that, Sam described it perfectly. The aftertaste, you're getting bitterness, but it's that bitterness that you would get if you drank a, uh, drink a real strong black coffee. <laughs> Giggity. Giggity. And then um, Giggity. Giggity. after you drink that, or after you get that taste, the plum goes over your mouth again. Yeah. It goes right over your palate again. And I don't taste anything like a porter though. That that's what kills me. Like I, I don't red stripe. Red stripe. I get a little taste of red stripe off of that. Yes. Yes. But the smell. It, I like that plum smell. Yeah, the plum smell is great, but the uh, the taste is a little funky for me. For me, anyway. For you, I. What do you think? It's different. I'll, I'll be honest with you. If I were to buy this in a restaurant while I'm eating, I think I'd be okay. Well, that's because you'd be able. To, it'd probably mix well with the food because yeah. you have something that tastes like a plum, which mixes well with the bitter with with whatever you're eating. Yeah. 
Whereas if you get like something else, sometimes like you can get like a blue moon and it tastes like what the fuck am I eating? You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is a, uh, this is a dinner beer. I, I would call that a dinner beer because you get a lot of different flavors off of it. Plum, coffee, um, definitely hoppy yeah. with the bitterness, like yeah. which is really weird because at first I didn't think it tasted hoppy, but yeah, definitely hoppy. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how to explain. There's a lot going on for a dollar. For a dollar, go try this at Lovely Beer World. Today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Beer World. Beer World is your one-stop shop for all of your beer needs. They have local beers, they have domestic beers, and they have import beers. Beer World is located at 3125 Lake Road, Horseheads, New York. Beer World, your one-stop shop for all of your beer needs. So definitely try that. Give it a um, shot. And yeah, try it. Comments, tell us what you think. Yeah, go to Beer World, get this, ask them at the counter where it is. Where was it? It was like right next to the, uh, the taps. Right next to the beer taps. You know where they are on the back wall over by the uh, main counter. The main counter the and, the, the, and the next to the cooler. 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 That's, I had a mind fart. I can't help that. Because that's definitely different. That, that. What's the alcohol content? Oh my goodness. I forgot all about that. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit that in. Or you could just say it now. I'll, so today I'm going to be, right now I'm going to be sipping on the St. Peter's Plum Porter. This is coming in at alcohol content of 5%. Um, these are in one pint uh, glass bottles. The bottle's kind of nice, actually. I do like the bottle. Um, that'd be kind of something nice to have on a shelf just for a little display. Yeah. like that. Nice and dark. It, for a dollar, it has a lot going on. I know I'm repeating myself, but I can't, I can't say that enough. But. Is it smooth on the pellet? <laughs> Talking about you, Matt. <laughs> it, it, it's smooth on the palate, but smooth because it's got so much going on. Yeah. That is very different. Very, very different, but not bad. For me, I'm giving it a side thumb, just for the side fact thumb? that I'm not, that was too much for me at once. I wasn't expecting that. It just kind of, I don't know, the bitterness yeah. was overwhelming for me, I thought. All right. Well, I'm going to give it a thumbs up, and I'm going to give it a thumbs up because there's so many rounded flavors going on there. Now, if it didn't have, if I didn't have that bitterness on the at, on the, if it was like a smooth on the backwash, I probably would have like enjoyed it a lot more. Yeah. But since it was like a harsh bitter, and since I hate black coffee, that's what it reminded me of immediately. Uh, I'll give it a side thumb because the, the flavors are there. I like the flavors. I just don't like the bitterness. Yeah. I don't know if you could hear Sam. I, I'm quite sure you can. You should be able to hear him. Um, Sam's doing a side thumb. He. He just doesn't like the bitterness at the end. Everything else he's liking, just not the bitterness. Myself, I like everything because the bitterness isn't too bad for me, surprisingly, because usually I can pick up bitter crap and I, I hate it. But it's different for a dollar. Chocolate raspberry. Oh, geez, that chocolate raspberry was horrible. Oh, that was horrible. Why do I feel like I'm showing a clip right now of myself drinking that crap? Because that clip was hilarious. The look on your face was like immediate dislike. Oh, that was horrible. Like, sorry guys that make that. <laughs> it just, that wasn't for us. No, no, that was not for us and it shouldn't be for anybody else. But for a dollar, St. Peter's Plum Porter. Try it, check it out. Only a dollar at Beer World. Tell us how you like it. Comment below after you watch this video and after you drink some, please let us know. We gotta have feedback. We need more and more feedback on our videos. Set that off to the side. Also, please start subscribing to our videos. Help yeah. us out. Yeah, like and subscribe. We need some more subscribers out there. I know our videos are are shared over multiple platforms, but I see Coming. that they're shared on everything. Please subscribe and help us out. Yeah, cut. It's not, and even if you subscribe and you don't hit the bell, yeah. And you never want to see our stuff again, just subscribe to help us out. Yeah, just subscribe. Give us a subscription and uh, let us know what do you think. Let's, uh, let me move on to the golden ale. All right, moving on. I didn't really rinse the glass out all that well. My apologies. Right now, I'm going to another St. Peter's. 
for a dollar, golden ale. Now I've had a golden ale that was a Russian beer. <laughs> I opted out on the uh, percentage. Yeah. Save a couple of cents there. Let's try this. I can smell it. Do you want to know what I smell? Uh, I, <laughs> I smell the changing room at a pool, at a public pool. Cool. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> That's what I smell. It smells like a public pool changing room. That's what I still get. I don't know. I don't know. Nice pour. I like that. Nice and golden. nice and golden on there. It's a little cloudy. Got a nice head on it. Giggity. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That is worth a dollar. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't know what the alcohol content is on this. But it's smooth, isn't it? That is yeah. very smooth. It's For just probably like the uh the Russian one I had, it was extremely, extremely smooth. Yeah, th like this I is. The whole thing. This is very good. I know I'm drinking this in a Miller Lite glass. Like I said earlier, you know, I acquire yeah, that my glasses is, more. That's super smooth. But this is super, super smooth. Um, very good smell. Not happy whatsoever. It's like a beer, um, beer. Just a normal yeah, beer. Yeah, just a normal. Plain Jane beer. Plain Jane beer. For a dollar, you cannot go wrong with this. Oh yeah, I like that. That is damn good. That is very... Easy. Yeah, easy peasy. I got a thumbs up for it. Yeah, I got a thumbs up for this as well. That is well worth a dollar. Good find Sam. Sam coming through on the clutch. I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. One thumb up for being a perfectly good tasting beer. Another thumb up for a value. Yeah. A dollar. A dollar. Can't go wrong. You know what? Sam bought a new toy today. And since Sam and I have good, good taste in things, why don't we take a brief moment and before we leave, we're gonna show you what Sam's got. No. So Sam, what do we got going on here? What did you get? What'd you purchase? got a Ruger Mini 30, and it takes the same caliber bullet as my SKS, it's 7.62 by 39. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful gun, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. She looks pretty. Mm-hmm. Why don't you go ahead and pick that up and show the people, Sam. Pick that up and show the people. Oh. Yeah, look at that. She's a beaut, ain't she, folks? Be American. Own a gun. Live your life. Have fun. That's Sam. I'm DJ. I don't know if I'm in focus there. Let me fold this out. I gotta know if I'm in focus. There we go. Uh, probably not. Here, let me adjust me. Get me in there a little bit. I'm DJ. I'm Sam. That's Sam back there. We're Weird Beers. Cheers. You guys have a good day. We're going to have some fun and do some shooting. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Cheers.